Well, well, well. Hello everyone, Rabbi Yoni Katz, and you're hanging with Hasidics. I believe it was Victor Hugo who once said, there's nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. Now, over the last decade or so, since when we started sharing this idea that God needs us, God's vulnerable, God needs our mitzvahs, God needs us to serve Him, it was pretty out there, radical, controversial, definitely not mainstream. In fact, it was one man, one rabbi's opinion, and me sort of being a student of Rabbi Manus Friedman, hearing this idea and realizing how non-mainstream it was, I started discussing with everyone I knew and received a lot of pushback. And I'm saying this hopefully with humility that over the last year or so, or definitely since COVID, I've seen a shift. People have been much more accepting it and other rabbis are either te are even teaching it. And this great clip with Rabbi Jacobson really quoting a sicha a talk from the Lubavitcher Rebbe explaining how one little significant prayer can be to God really hammers the point home. One little point. He says many times throughout this clip, the word in Hebrew, which is kaviyachal, which translated to English would be, so to speak. And I think what he's trying to say is, is when we say that God needs us, we shouldn't think in human terms of needs, like we need food or we need sleep, but rather a true need, not a handicapped need when you need it simply for the next step or for something else, but rather a true essential need. So when he says kaviyachal, so to speak, he's not trying to make the need less on God's part. He's trying to make the need that much more. I love watching this clip. Thank you. Shout out to Doc Wolf, who's uh, been talking about it with me for a long time now and sharing this clip. A person entertains a thought. Anybody here entertain this thought? <laughs> What's the big deal about my davening every day? Okay, I'll daven once a year. I'll daven once a lifetime. I'll pour my heart out. Are you going to tell me that my davening is significant, is chashev, is prominent? And not once, every day. And what's the big deal? If God forbid, the Rebbe says, chas v'shalom, I miss one tefillah from one simple day of the week. Tell me. There are millions and millions of Jews. There are billions and billions of people. There are billions and trillions and zillions and quantillions, organisms and entities and beings. There are galaxies upon galaxies beyond numbers. And here's a little tiny creature living wherever I'm living. And I missed one davening in the middle of a simple day, in the middle of the week. <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> Big deal, right? Says the Rebbe, Al-Zerba, Hamayna, Vaidam, Epirishashi, Dilan. On this, we have an answer and an instruction, a perspective that we learn from this Rashi. HaKadosh Baruch Hu Bikish Tzavei ez bonai alai She yishmeru lahakir b'moya daishnayim liyoyim tamid Utfilo ez boyez b'mkoyman V'oymer al zel lachmi V'shezel choshev oid yoyser miyifke d'roya l'chol b'nei Yisrael Hashem tells Moshe, he asks Moshe, command my children. These are my children. These are not my subjects. These are not my creations. These are my children. Was, my essence is connected to their essence. And it's inseparable. And without them, that essence is, so to speak, of Ayacho, is missing something essential. I need them. I don't need them just for pleasure. We are one. Tell my children they should be careful to offer every day two offerings. And today, if the davening, the shachris, the mincha, and the mayrith. And Hashem says, this is my bread. And I want you to know, Moshe, this is more important than appointing a shepherd for all of the Jewish people. Wow. The Jewish people need a shepherd. They need a Moshe. They need a leader. Moshe says, bring them a leader. And Hashem says, I know, I will. Here's Yeshua. But then he says, I'll, I did it. But I want you to know there's something more important. What's more important? They should know about their relationship with me. They should know what that means to me. 
They should know how much I need them. They should know how much I love them. They should know how much I'm connected to them. They should know how indispensable they are in the cosmic symphony of God. And even beyond the cosmic symphony of God. This is true about every single day, the great days of the year, and in the simplest, most mundane weekday. And every single day, this is true. What their tefillah, what a davening of a Jew means. Do I care about their davening? What the davening is, what it means to me. It's called my bread. It's more important than having a leader for the Jewish people. It's true about every davening of every Jew, every day of the end. They should know that every single day when every individual, no matter who he or she is, davens, you know what happens? Machasuach lafana shamati v'nasirat saini. The Rebbe Nishalaylam himself, Kavayachal, celebrates. He dances, he celebrates the pleasure, the love, the delight that's created from this. By the way, when the Rebbe said this talk, he used the expression, he said, a Jew sometimes thinks, a mincha from a poshet mitvach, a simple Wednesday mincha, big deal, it's Wednesday, <laughs> it's a simple mincha, we'll skip it, we'll do myrav, we'll do shachras tomorrow. We'll do a double myriv. Rashi is teaching you perspective. Understand who you are. I'm going to take questions. I wanted to finish off with a story. I heard the story from Rabbi Manus Friedman. He shared it with me about a personal experience he had, and it moved me very much. He said that he was once called to a hospital to see a Jewish teenager who was suicidal. The boy felt that he was an absolute, absolutely worthless and insignificant. He was a good for nothing. He couldn't get anything right. He was always criticized. And he attempted to finish his life. It was too painful. The problem is, even his suicide attempt also failed. They brought him to the hospital and seeing that he was Jewish, the hospital staff called the rabbi to come and try to lift his spirits. So Ramanus arrives to the hospital. He doesn't know what to expect. He finds the boy lying in bed and he's watching television. He looks at his face, he tells he was absolutely dejected, utter misery. You could see that there are clouds of despair hanging over the poor boy's head. The boy didn't even look up to say hi. Before he can even say hello, the boy says, if you're here to tell me what the priest just told me, you could leave now. The rabbi says, what did the priest tell you? Oh, the priest told me that God loves me. It's a load of garbage. God doesn't love me. Why would God love me? Not a bad point. The kid looked at himself and he says, why would God love me? What is there in me that makes me worthy of love? I achieved nothing in life. I had no redeeming features. I have no redeeming features. Nothing beautiful, nothing respectable, no virtues, nothing to love. Why would God love me? The priest was just spewing nonsense. And the rabbi told me, he says, what am I supposed to tell him? What do you tell him? I knew I have to get to him. What am I supposed to tell him? And he says, I told him, you may be right. Maybe God does not love you. This got his attention. He finally looked up. He wasn't expecting a rabbi to say, maybe God doesn't love you. He looked at the rabbi in amazement and the rabbi told him, maybe God doesn't love you, but one thing is for sure, God needs you. The boy was startled, he didn't hear that before. And the rabbi told him, the very fact 
that you were born means that God needs you. You had plenty of people before you, but there is something about you and your life that He needs. So don't think about if you're worthy of love or you're not worthy of love. He looks at himself, he says, there's nothing to love. Okay. But he needs you. Of course. He needs you because he loves you. And he loves you because he needs you. And the two are inseparable. But this touched the heart of the boy. So Hashem says, when you daven, it's my bread. It's my essence. It's my survival as your father and your, my child. In the expression of the Gemara in Kedushin. 